So if you want to make a uh, button that is also a component, so you can reuse it on your, all your uh, frames in Figma, just start with a text layer. Uh, let's call it, a, call it a button. Then just right click, add auto layout, right click, create component. And then let's just add a fill, uh, make it, I don't know, blue. Make the font color, color white. Let's add a bit more radius. And then on the right side, you have all these options, horizontal gap, horizontal padding. Let's just add uh, a bit more padding to our button. And you can make adjustments to uh, the text and stuff like that. The point is, once you have your frame, copy paste it. Oh no, 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 no. You copy paste the frame, right? Uh, now let's say you want to rename this thing, new button you'll see that it, it also adjusts the spacing, right? The padding on the right and left, so that it, it always stayed the same. Uh, in our case, it's 40 pixels. Uh, okay, but now let's say you wanna change, right? You have your main component, you wanna make adjustments to your button. You wanna add gradient. You go ahead to the main component, this is your main one, right? The one with the filled shape. You make it a gradient. Uh, you'll see that all of your buttons basically uh, adjust to have the same uh, properties basically so yeah now let's say you want to add an icon just go to iconify add an email I don't know some icon uh, then just go ahead and just drag and drop it inside the button make it white so that it matches the same thing and that's basically it now if you want the email to be only uh, visible in the second button just drag it uh, I don't know why it doesn't work right I guess it only works in, works in the initial uh, yeah you can only add to the main component you have to detach it first but if you detach it there won't you won't be able to make any more uh, it will it won't be a component anymore so if you change the color right now it won't change anymore in the sub components basically so yeah i guess you can't do that uh yeah so anyway that's how you create uh components that are buttons and if you want to link the link them uh just uh you know uh just go to prototype and then just drag interactions to different frames and stuff like that uh, if you want to make them like functional buttons in your prototype uh but yeah like i said if you have your main frame you just copy paste the frame uh with your button on different frames uh and then like i said they will uh any change you make in the original uh yeah this is not the main one though this is the main one in the original component it will adjust uh to be identical in the second one uh, if you make uh, variants to the subcomponents, for example, if you want this button to be red and remove the stroke, you'll see that after you did that, now you try to change uh, stuff in the original one, you'll see that it won't update on the uh, edited component anymore. Uh, unless you didn't make any changes. So if in our case, we didn't make any changes to the font weight, it's medium. If you want to make this bold, you'll see that it's still gonna make uh, adjustments to the edited component, but only to the stuff that we didn't change uh, compared to the initial uh, uh, component. So, yeah, that's how components work, and that's how you use them in Figma uh, in, in a nutshell, basically, in a really simple uh, uh, steps, I guess. So, yeah.